Hey, what is up, everyone? Alright, so I've been thinking what I wanted to do, and I think here's what we're going to talk about, since it's coming up very soon. Goku Day is coming up very, very, very soon, which is going to be, probably be early next month. I think Goku's banner, well, I don't know if it's Goku, but the uh, Goku Day banner should be coming out a little before Go Tenant Runks, if things go as I'm thinking. Now, last year, we had a two-parter for, well, they called it Gohan, Goku, and Go Tente, so it's pretty much like Goku's family day. And we got, you know, a bunch of stuff, like, it was just a big, cele well, big celebration. You get your stone sales, you get your festivals, you get, you know, all this, it's pretty much your typical celebration. And last year, we got the dual Dokkan Fest for Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the transforming ones, for part one. We also got a new Dragon Ball history stage and a new mission for the Legendary Goku event, along with your typical Clash events, story events, and usually there's like a... Uh, yeah, they bring back old events, and XP was tripled. I do see us getting triple XP again, so it wouldn't surprise me if we got triple XP. I don't know, like, if they're going to bring Go Ten and Trunks for our Goku Day. I hope it's not that, but it is possible to be that. We're going to, it's going to, well, if it is that, that means it's not going to be a dual festival, so. I'm not sure how they're going to go about it this year. And then in part two, we got the, the Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Stone Sale, and then we got the Legendary God Goku. Now, this is important. I think we're going to either get a God Goku this year, or Super Saiyan Goku this year. And the reason I say that is because we're in the movie phase. And let me see, and, and if you check all the like relevant ones that, that are out right now, we don't have many. Like This is the only relevant Super Saiyan Goku that we have that stays Super Saiyan, is this LR. We don't have much outside of this. We do have the new Prime Battle Easy Aid. Like, LR, but that's still like, we don't have a Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan Goku that's just Super Saiyan. We have the ones that turn into Super Saiyan, but we don't have the ones that stay Super Saiyan. And then for the God Gokus, the only ones we really have is this LR, which we got last year. Or, uh, yeah. I don't know why we got them a year later, but yeah, we got this God Goku last year, around February, beginning of the year. And we also got this really old. Well, he's pretty old now at this point, 2019. Tech Orb Changer for the movie Heroes. I would love if this guy got an easy A, because this guy is super good still. And he fills out your team pretty well, because he is an Orb Changer. And both the relevant Super Saiyan, like both Gokus that go in movie Heroes are Orb Changers. He's an Orb Changer, and he's an Orb Changer. So you can technically make a movie hero team with just a God Goku and Super Saiyan Goku and put them next to like other units that struggle with key because they are orb changers now if this guy were to get easy a i would love it if they just you know made this like i don't see them changing the plus four but his attack and defense could probably shoot up to like 150 maybe a little higher 160 and then for this it would be randomly changes key spheres to a certain type of rainbow key sphere attack plus X percent, so it could probably go to 14 percent, or just say, you know, the seven, your typical 7 percent. In addition, uh, the, the key rainbow spheres receive, damage received minus 88 percent. They could change 77 to 88, or something along those lines, when there's a movie, bosses, category, enemy. Like, they could slightly buff this, they could, they could technically buff this to 14 percent. They could make this guy OP if they really wanted to. His links are actually really solid still. And he's on very few teams, so it wouldn't be that crazy if they did make this guy insane because he's only on Realm of Gods, Pierce Saiyan, Movie Heroes, Goku Family, and Pearl School. I mean, yes, Realm of Gods is busted, and Movie Heroes is going to get pretty good, and the Goku's Family is pretty good. I, I guess, if you, like, the, I'm not the biggest fan of Goku's Family, but it's, it's not bad. So they could make this guy insane. As for this guy, I do not see him getting easy A. He's still relatively new. However, I do see us getting a like a Dokkan Fest version of this guy, I guess. Or maybe not this one in particular, but like a movie hero of Super Saiyan Goku. There's a lot of options they can go to. There's like every movie, he, 
well, every movie after the Namek Planet Saga, Video Super Saints, like the cooler movie, they can make one with uh, Vegeta and Goku from the cooler movie. Though I don't know how they would do that for Goku Day, because then they would have to exclude Vegeta, I, I would assume, unless they just made... Because we already have Vegeta from the cooler movie. He's a... He's one of those nuker leads for the tech. So I would like to see either Super Saiyan Goku or a Super Saiyan God Goku, personally. I think more people would like to see the God Goku, but I wouldn't be mad about a Super Saiyan Goku because we do have Tech Gohan that requires a Super Saiyan Goku. And this is the only one. And if you don't have him, it's really hard to run that Gohan because there's no other movie hero Super Saiyan Goku that you can run next to him. So you, you can't even use the full Gohan, like the full Gohan passive. So I think this guy would probably be my priority list over the God Goku. Now, I'm not saying he can't go God. They could totally make it where he's from the the original Beerus movie and make him start out in the Super Saiyan form and just keep him on the Super Saiyans. Like, he, keep him on Super Saiyans. Keep him on movie heroes and make it where it's an activation skill so you can choose to go into God form. How would they make it work? Well, this guy... Well, not this guy. This guy has a very interesting passive. I think they could play it off this for this Delcon Fest if they chose to. They make it where this guy transforms in God Goku and he's just a beast for a limited time. Because this guy gets attack and uh, attack plus 77%, key plus 1 up to 5, and defense plus 11% up to 55 per peer Saiyans or hybrid categories allies, self-included on the team chance. They could change, they could make it similar where it, it's something similar to this but for movie heroes or movie bosses. And then, well, I, he doesn't go on movie bosses, but it could be like this with movie heroes. And then against movie bosses, you can get some kind of uh, a buff. Now, it also says uh, high chance of evading attacks, including super attacks, and performing critical hits for seven turns. So, I think this is worth that. Uh, so, the team are, uh, okay, so... He's on a 7 turn timer pretty much for critical hits, but I think everything else stays the same. So, performing critical hits is on a 7 turn timer, and then everything else is the same. So, you pretty much you don't have to build this guy crits on shorter events, you can just build them additional, I guess. Because I'm not sure how he works. I don't have him exactly, so I'm not exactly sure how this guy works completely. But from my understanding, he's on a 7 turn timer before he burns out, and he just becomes... He's good after the timer, but he's, like, not super good because he's losing his crit chance, I guess. Even though it's not a big deal when you just build him crit instead of additionals. And his link set's actually solid. It's got Golly Power, Warrior God, Super Saiyan coming out over in a flash. I think I'd rather see Shocking Speed on the next one. Shattering on Limit and Legendary Power. I actually don't mind the Shattering Limit, because go on. If they made the movie hero Goku, they could keep Shattering Limit just for that tech Gohan, so he'd be the best pairing partner for that Gohan. Let's actually take a look at that Gohan real quick, because I don't actually remember all of his links. So, for that tech Gohan, I, I, this is like what I would want. Uh, yeah, go. Do Super Saiyan to... Is this the one? I'm sure he's in here somewhere. There he is. Because this boy needs a this boy needs a a, a partner that is go uh, a Goku. So let's let's look at his links. So for this uh, Go God Goku or Super Saiyan Goku that want preferably Super Saiyan, because it would probably develop him a bit better. Because the Bardock and Gine also needs a Goku. It doesn't really matter how they do it as long as it's a Goku with a activation skill going into God. I think that'd be cool. This Goku would need Super Saiyan Warrior, uh, Super Saiyan Saiyan Warrior race. All in the family, prepared to battle, shattering legendary power. Now, I don't see them giving him gaze or respect, but they could give him warrior gods. Or, well, if he was going to Super Saiyan. Or they could give him another one, which is experienced fighters. So he'd have experienced fighters at the start when he's Super Saiyan. And then when he transformed, he would get warrior gods, I guess. And then he would keep the, like, the whole link set. I guess they could give him Golden Warrior too, and then instead of uh, keeping it when he goes into the god, he would just get Warrior Gods. So that would be really cool. So he had Super Saiyans, Golden Warrior. Uh, let's check this. He would have Super Saiyans, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, all in the family, prepare for battle, Shattering Limit, and Legendary Power. And then Golden Warrior would go into Warrior Gods into once he transforms. I think that would be the best possible link set that he could get just so we can pair him with this guy because this guy really does need a partner to pair with 
because he's an extremely good unit, and it's like the only people that can really, really utilize him are the people who have this guy. If you have this guy next to that Gohan, he's insane. But you have to realize this is a whale character. This is not someone everyone has. I'm sure a lot of people got lucky and pulled him during the New Year's, but you can't really like flip a coin like that every year just to have a chance to pull this guy. And not a lot of people want to summon on those legendary banners because, once again, those are whale banners. A lot of free-to-play players don't have this guy. I don't have this guy. I've put some money in this game, and I want this guy. There's a, there's a few LRs I would like, this guy being included along with that Gohan. I don't have that Gohan. I want him. He's the one I'm going to yellow coin for. So that would be my ideal character for this fest. Now, who would be the pairing partner to put next to this guy is the question. Well, if we're ever doing movie heroes, I don't... I would be Goku. If this was movie hero theme-based and it was for Gohan, Goku, and Gotende, there's not a whole whole lot of options, I don't think, because Gohan gets destroyed in the Beerus movie. Everyone gets destroyed in the Beerus movie, so th I, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter, but they could bring a lot of, I guess there are options. But the big time side unit that we could see, because I think it would be funny, is, uh, where would I go to find these guys? It's a Gotenks. I guess you'd have to go to for Gotenks. Where the heck is Gohan? Or like, I'm looking for you. Let's go to you. And then we go to... I guess hybrids there. And then we find... you. Now, I know we just got a Goten and, Go, uh, Goten and Trunks. Are, we're going to be getting them soon, so I don't really see it being these guys. However, it could be like the fusion of them. They could go into Gotenks and Fuse, because they do do that and they get spanked by Beerus, which was hilarious. That's one of the options they can do. The other options is just bring Ojita with this Goku. I mean, it's not out of the realm of impossible because we don't we don't have a raging Vegeta that's up to date with those new animations. And I would love that type of card for a side banner unit. They could be a defensive juggernaut, or they could just make him a straight juggernaut because he he's like the first one that actually I wouldn't say damage Beerus, but actually got to fight Beerus for more than two seconds. So, let's see, Vegeta, 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 he's a tech, or he's a SDR, you know, I think this is, yeah, yeah. So we could get one of these guys, where we, it's a, out, well, it's a Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma. Hopefully they don't include Bulma, because then they did that, they kind of chapped his, uh... Well, actually, no, this would be fine, because all they would have to do is put out a Movie Heroes. So we could get a Movie Hero Vegeta that's next to Goku. Who's, who is this guy where he rages out? How would they do it is the question, because... This guy, heh, well, he isn't very relevant, and well, he's not that good anymore. Um, they could start him off like this, so they can make him transform into it, they can make a good activation skill. Uh, I, there's a lot of options. I want to see this guy, again though, like, the updated animations, I would love to see this guy next to that Super Saiyan Goku. Or Super Saiyan God Goku. His links would actually be... Yeah, keep them shattered. Like they could keep them shattering the limit because of that Gohan. Like I, I want a shattering limit team for that movie heroes team, just for this fool, because they gave him shattering the limit. So why not just give us more shattering limit characters to run with him? They could make this. Uh, they could make this guy a support too. Well, I imagine the Goku would be more of the supporter, and this guy would be more of the attacker. They can give him like two. They can make him similar to that Trunks, because that Trunks is insane. The tech trunks that we got recently on the bow or Broly banner, they could make them like attack and defense, 200% medium chance of launching additional instead of medium chance of launching additional, medium chance of critting, and then movie bot or uh, movie hero category allies. You know, they could make them a support for that team, or instead of making them a uh, support, instead of this last part, make it where after being hit three times. He gets an activation skill, or like every time he gets hit, he just gets stronger or something to where it's like this uh, activation skill to where you get the rage out, and then this 200% becomes 280%, and it gets guaranteed crits or something ludicrous like that. Just make this man a complete beast to throw on the team, and then they can make him pair well with his trunks. Like they have him Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Cold Judgment. Uh, I don't actually know if Vegeta even get Cold Judgment to be honest. It doesn't look like it. 
they would have to be prodigies, I guess, and they're in, like royal lineage. Typical Vegeta links that are only good against, like, good next to Vegeta's. Like, what could his link set even be? Honest, and since he's going to be a movie hero, he would he'd be Super Saiyan. So we could probably like look at where is he? This guy? And just place a few of his links. Super, uh, Super, uh, or Saiyan Warrior Aries. This would be Super Saiyan, or this would be Golden Warrior. Super Saiyan. I don't like the Overrun Flash. Make him something else. Uh, Shocking Speed, maybe. Prodigies, and then Royal Lineage, and then Fierce Battle, and then make him on the movie Heroes team. That's that's my that's what I want. Let me know in the comments what you guys want for Goku Day. Uh, do you even want a Super Saiyan God Goku? Do you even want a Super Saiyan Goku? Like, what do, what do you guys really want for Goku Day? Let me know in the comments below. This was just a fun little video because it is coming up and I thought it'd be a cool way to spark some conversations. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a good one.